years old and she was a mother of six so i was really impressed how literally fit she was um but bearing in mind she's a personal trainer and isn't that wonderful when your job is to keep fit <laughs> Just amazing and she was so inspiring because even after six kids she looked literally flawless and you know the article was looking at uh, are other women just being lazy now I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say no they're not being lazy they're just caught under a cage of stress from the chaos of motherhood because it is like a war zone and if you're not a ninja I mean that's why my channel is here I was like, how to be a ninja mama because when I first had kids when they were really really young I was in a complete chaos I didn't even ask for help I didn't even google for help or YouTube for help uh, now social media there's loads of people around that are willing to help you willing uh, to connect with you as well and I'm so grateful for YouTube as well that can that has helped me personally I found a lot of good videos on and that's why I just want to spread the positivity spread the knowledge spread the love as well so in this video, I'm talking about self-image and also self-love, self-care. Is image important? I personally do think it's very important. Um, it's not about arrogance. It's not about looking in the mirror and saying, Hey, good looking, how you doing today? It's not. It's about looking in the mirror and being happy. And happy to see yourself. At the same time, if you, you're not happy with a feature, uh, I've got a waistline that may contribute towards diabetes. People are like, oh, come on, you've had four kids, you look great. I thank them for the kind words. However, when I look in the mirror, I don't hate myself. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate myself. I love myself. I love myself too much in the fact that, hey, I can improve this. I'm happy not to hate myself, but I'm not satisfied to stay at this level. I need to up my game. And what helps me up my game is other inspiring women. I, I find it very difficult to be jealous of other women because jealousy is a very bad vibe. If you are jealous and bitter about other women, that means you're trying to say, Oh, she has it all. I don't have it. I have lack of it. They have an abundance of whatever you, that you're jealous of. And um, what happens is you attract that energy. So you don't get what they have because you're jealous. Funny enough, on my side, I'm always happy for... Oh my God, so happy that you did this, you got that. And what happens is that happiness that I have with them gets returned back to me. And I get to feel how they feel. Because I'm so happy for them. So, I'm very easily inspired. When I go to the gym, I connect with the, the, the women at the gym, men, whatever. A lot of people start staring. Oh, uh, they want to be better there's no such thing as better there's no such thing as competition you are your own competition wake up you only need to improve yourself I, like i can say that i'm really unhappy with myself compared to me last year or i can be really happy about myself compared to me last year because i was like i had a lot of fat around i had a donut around my belly and it was a sign it's not a sign to you should love yourself for, for what you, you are and how you look. It was not because that that ring of fat was a sign that I was unhealthy and I needed to change my lifestyle. So it was a bad thing, but I was actually grateful that it happened because now I look after myself a lot more. I'm much more disciplined with my food. I've cut out a lot of the sugar. I'm trying to cut gluten and grains as well. I eat a lot more uh, nutritious fruits and vegetables. And that gave me a much better complexion with the skin as well. I'm more confident. I've lost weight. And then you're just overall a lot happier. Going to the gym means you're boosting your serotonin levels and you're just overall happy. So it's a good spiral. Now, if you start to accept yourself for, for something that you're not happy about, then you, you, you're basically going backwards and you're not improving yourself. And I believe that everybody should be trying to be the best version of themselves. So that's why you don't compare yourself to other people. Everyone's on a different journey. As long as you improve yourself. And if I look back in time, I feel better than I did 10 years ago. I feel younger than I did 10 years ago. So I'm moving forward. Um, obviously I, my kids were very young and I did have a lack of sleep so self-care is important fair enough you have not enough time to sleep not enough time to look after yourself but you really got to understand as well that you you got to put your mask on before you put on the child's mask so you do come before them and the better version you are the better version they are too 
So it really is your priority to actually put yourself first and prove how you feel. Uh, health is so important to me. And I'd love to share this information. I'm very grateful for YouTube that I've learned a lot from other people. I didn't have many friends to give me advice. I was in total chaos when I first had kids because I had three in a row just like that and my stomach stretched in and out like a big balloon. And I had a lot of stretch marks because you could say I was lazy. I didn't put oil on me. I didn't drink enough water. For a long time, I didn't drink enough water on my life. And it really does have huge impact from migraines to dry skin to outbreaks. Because when your skin is dry, it becomes oily and then you have outbreaks. So to prevent the skin from outbreaks, obviously don't eat processed foods, deep fried foods and all sorts. Plenty of sleep and plenty of water. It's, it's a no-brainer really, but people find it really hard. When you see like the benefits of of the fruits and vegetables, I find it easy. Where does my motivation come from? You know, you're not born with motivation. You generate motivation. And you actually have to get into a, a, a zone before you can get motivated. And it's very easy to get demotivated. So I talk a lot about maybe demotivation, what causes demotivation. And if you avoid those things, then you will become slightly more naturally motivated in life. So for example, people don't like getting out of bed in the morning is a common demotivation why you need to go back to your uh, the root cause the reason why you don't want to wake up in the morning is because you didn't have enough sleep so to master your your day you've got to master your morning you've got to master your night routine so if you had a if you slept on time had good sleep you are definitely going to feel better in the morning mm, i don't want to wake up I enjoyed my dreams i want to go to work today um, I'm very lucky. I wake up in the morning going, yes! Can't wait for work because obviously my work is quite fun. I was really looking forward to this uh, photo shoot today and I was very happy with uh, the, the people, the crew, they were so amazing, so nice and I'm very, very lucky. I find that um, having a positive mindset, I attract good people in my life. Uh, my experience with work has been so positive. Everyone's so nice and kind, made me feel comfortable because doing a lingerie shoot is not my comfort zone at all. But I believe that you should tackle your fears and do things that are more uncomfortable to you. You know, you feel comfortable in your bed. Yeah, yeah, so, so comfortable. Um, I actually find it really easy to get out of bed. And the only reason I cannot get out of bed is if I did not have enough sleep the night before. A lot of people demote to go to the gym, but I'm very aware that going to the gym has so many benefits and I'm going to feel fantastic after. So it doesn't matter how much I don't like going to the gym. Obviously, I've got other motivations as well for going to the gym. <laughs> um, it is my social background. Uh, I like socialising with people at the gym. Um, and I, I believe that I attract very good people. I don't attract arrogant people because I'm not arrogant myself. Um, I do, you know, whatever... Whatever makes you smile, really, smile more. And you have a choice and a consequence. Um, for example, if you don't like the look of your house, then you change the look of your house, then you'll be happier. If you don't like the look of your body, then you, you change it. Don't expect it after one day, obviously, but make effort because you need to see the end result and how you're gonna feel and actually feel it. How would I feel if I look like this? How would I feel? And that, that's more of a motivation to do the things you want to do. And there's lots of things that demotivate you. If you want to comment uh, below what demotivates you, and we have a look and maybe talk about how to motivate you to do the things you want. One might be but food. I had a huge relationship with food. I love food. That's how I, I wanted to eat the whole world. That was one of my goals. Um, but uh, I would have gained a lot of weight. I would have probably had heart problems and all sorts, obesity, diabetes, all sorts. So. I now have a passion for healthy food, natural foods. Um, and actually I find a lot of people eat a lot because they're bored. I eat for nutrition now, so I've got a different motive for eating. They're, they're bored, uh, they use it as, to distract themselves from something they really need to do. Uh, it's just easier just to eat as well. Um, they have too much time, so they, they eat. Or they have not enough time, so they eat convenience food, processed foods. Um, and they're quite low in nutrition as well because no, nothing beats fresh fruits, vegetables or freshly cooked home, homemade meals. And freshly cooked homemade meals 
uh, nutritionally more beneficial, but also emotionally, because whoever's cooking it, and say they're happy, and they put their love in the cooking, then you get that advantage as well. If you're having the factory made or whatever made, you don't know who that person, they probably hate their job, they put a lot of hate on what they do, and you're eating the hate. So that's why I never, I rarely eat out anymore, unless I kind of know that the chefs are passionate, and they love the food, uh, I tend to go uh, not for fast food because the you know fast food people go out let's go there's no care there's no love and obviously there's a lot of stress so you're eating a lot of stress 